Hey everybody, my name is Sugary Cupcakes and welcome back to the channel. Yes, we have finally made it to the My First Pet Stuff Pack gameplay. And I, I just, I have the Bridges family here and we're getting ready to play them. But in their house that I actually downloaded it off the gallery, which is an amazing little house. Um, I wanted to go ahead and give it a little upgrade slash update with the stuff from the pack. So I went ahead and I made some little rooms, um, a little pet room. I wanted this to be kind of like the little animal room. So I put everything that I felt like would work into this room um, and made it for the pets. So it's a really pet friendly area. I went ahead and put the hamster here. Um, actually, in this case, they have a hedgehog, which I think hedgehogs are such amazing little animals. But I went ahead and made the little room for the cat and the dog to kind of chill and for them to have their little small pet. And um, so the kids and the family can kind of chill in here with their little pets so i was just trying to use as much as i could with a little update um adding as much as i could from the pack into the little house so that we can kind of see how everything plays out i added the new little litter box and i love those picture frames um that we got with the pack and here i am like attempting to try to do something with the decals and let me tell you trying to figure out how to use these things to actually make something was Oh my gosh, like a little bit of a nightmare, I must say. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. It's like I wanted to turn them, but for some reason, when I tried to turn, I actually couldn't turn um, to kind of get them to go like sideways or whatnot. So that kind of made it a little difficult because you have to use them that, the way that it comes. So that made it a little difficult to do. But eventually, after uh, what felt like forever, I kind of figured something out that would work. Um, but definitely gonna need some more practice of that and just a heads up to anyone who does get the game pack Oh my gosh, those tunnels are a beast They are a beast to try to figure out and put together and kudos to anyone who can make something completely amazing out of them Because your girl was having a super super hard time from what you can see in this playback I was trying to put the little cat mirror somewhere. I wanted to, to be in there so bad, but I couldn't really find a place. And I wasn't too sure what that was. I later, um, that little doggy thing right there, but I later found out that it was a toy chest. <laughs> but it's in the kitchen. So yeah, I got the food bowls down. We put the animal cat, the animal or the cat scratching posts out. Um, I redid the room because I did download this room for a boy. So I'm going to have taking everything out, adding a desk in, um, using the new desk from the pack, little bookshelf, and kind of customizing it for him and making it look really cute inside, giving him a place to study. I ended up putting the mirror up here because it just wouldn't fit. And I put the activity set downstairs in a little room because again, it just wouldn't fit in the bedroom. So, but I wanted to use it. I wanted to put it down so I found a little place for it put the little lamp down um, to see how that works and I also had to make the <laughs> I also had to make the toddler room so I did put the toddler stuff down um, I still incorporated some of the stuff kept some of the old things that were in there as well and just kind of put some things down for her too and I I absolutely just adore that growth chart so I had to go ahead and include that because I mean that thing is completely amazing I also put the little toy in her room um because I would think that she would play with it but we'll see what happens um, I'm actually really curious to see like how that works with the little toy and how the kids and the toddlers interact with it since they both can I'm gonna just try to put some things down too for them to play with the animals with so I did include a few little things from cats and dogs in there um just to kind of decorate uh, the theme and whatnot and, and have something for the pets to also do as well like in this gameplay make sure that the pets are also taken care of so yes I know some people love to see speed builds but this wasn't a full speed build it was just kind of a remodel so I wanted to just include that there so that you guys can see how I came up with the remodel for the house before we get into the gameplay all right, so we are here. We're here with the Bridges family, and I can already see Reese is not very happy about how to change his hair out, but everybody is here. Uh, Teresa's here with her new hair. Oh my gosh, they look such like such a cute little family. So let's go ahead and play with them and see what we can do with, this, with the game pack. They've got all their little clothes on. Everyone's all dressed like a sagua. She's so cute. And Zeus, oh my gosh. Well, let's go. Let's play with Orlando and have him come over and 
play with the ham the I picked actually the hedgehog because I don't know I just thought that was so cute so we're gonna have him go here play with the hedgehog a little bit um steady let's see we can what else can we do we could feed him a treat we can observe him um let's see I did this whole room here it's like kind of pet base it's got their beds in here um the little decal on the wall a little bit of stuff from cats and dogs um the furniture here cat here so it's really cute so he is currently studying the rodent and i'm not entirely too sure what's actually building up here so we'll have to find out what that is i don't really know what that is um motor motor creativity I don't know so it says that his homework was complete so I don't know if that had to do with this homework studying the rodent I don't know I'll have to look more into that so he's petting his little hedgehog now so cute <gasps> oh no the hedgehog bit him <laughs> Oh man, he's like, I don't know if I want to play with this thing again. He's not very happy right now because he got bit, but um, <laughs> let's see what else he'll do with his uh, his hedgehog. So the hedgehog is kind of playing inside of its cage at the moment. Oh, it can run all around in here. It's fed him a little treat. He's like, oh, I love my... Oh, what is going on, Zeus? What is Zeus doing? He's getting comfortable. So now he's feeling playful as he plays with this little... I keep wanting to call it a hamster, but it's a porcupine. Aww. Today he's just here playing with Zeus. Oh, he, she loves Zeus so, so much. She loves that dog. and He's always so sweet and gentle with her. She definitely adores Zeus, and Zeus watches over her every move. Like she, Zeus is stuck next next to Felicity's side. You know, like they are just one, like two peas in the pod. So, her little hedgehog, he looks so cute, but I want him to do something cool. So anyway, let's go see what uh, Sagwa is doing. She is upstairs. Where? What is she doing? Where are you, Sagwa? She looks like she is actually trying to sleep right now, <laughs> but we're going to have her go downstairs and, oh, wait, 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 what is he doing? Is he playing with the new, he sure is, he's playing with the new toy that came with the stuff pack. Oh, he's got some emotional control from it. Interesting. Ah, oh, let's have him play with it some more. Oh. So he could play with emotion and just play with it. Interesting. What are you doing? What is what is what are you doing, Reese? Where are your clothes at? It's like it's boosting up his like creative skill or something. Let's see. It is, it is. It's giving him emotional control and it's also boosting up his creativity. Which is very interesting. So play with emotion. That's what that is. And he's just kind of tossing it around a little bit. Talking to it a little bit. <laughs> okay. I think you need to be nicer to that little hamster um, thing you've got there, Orlando. <laughs> well, that's cool that he can kind of get some, some more benefit out of that little thing there. Now, let's go get back to Sagwa here. She is on top of the hamster. Oh my. She's on top of the cage while he's just like, our little hedgehog is just running in here. Running on his little wheel. She's like, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Whenever you come out, I'm going to, I'm going to catch you. She's like watching him. She can investigate. She's like watching. I want to see how she can interact with this thing. So she's just kind of watching. She's just kind of looking. 
I don't know why they all say react to something. She's like, okay, I'm not really interested. But she's going to get up there. Oh my gosh, she's watching him inside of the little bowl here on top. And he is terrified. He's like, oh my god, what is this cat doing? He's like, I don't want to go down because I'm afraid. <laughs> so he's like stuck in his little bubble for right now. Oh my goodness. And now Zeus is here. It's like barking at her. Like, get down. Oh my. That is so funny. So they the pets can't interact with this thing. Really? They could just... I don't know what the react to means, but... I don't necessarily see it doing anything. So let's take a Sagwa outside to the... Um, this new thing that we got. The... See what she can do. She can groom self on it. Um, lace. Let's try to get her to play with this thing a little bit. So here she comes. She's running. She's excited. She's like, oh, I've got something new. She's super excited to, to have it. I can see. I can tell. She's got more choices. Oh, she can dangle, play with dangle toy. Okay, she's like, oh, this is amazing. This is so nice. Thank you, my humans. So she's just kind of lying there, licking herself. And let's see, more choices. Scratch post, okay. So now we can kind of see like how she reacts to this kitty post thing. She can go pretty freaking high. Look at that. She's all the way at the top. Oh my goodness. That is so high. So she's just chilling. She's like, oh, this is such a nice day outside. Oh, let's see what else she could do. Let's speed it up a little bit. She's jumping down. Okay. Okay. And play with the other one that we got her. I don't think this one really has too many other things to do on it besides lay down. And then she could play with this little dangling thing. She's like, what is this? Oh. I wish there was more things for the dogs to do, I guess. I don't mean, I mean, I know it's like a small pet stuff pack. It should have really been like more you know, focused on the small animals um, and probably possibly bringing us more small animals rather than just the same one, but recolor recolored a few times. Um, so I don't know, as much as I would have liked to see some more things for the dogs, I don't really know if that was kind of the essence of this pack, so to speak, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to take her to the new litter box. Alright, so here she is in her little litter box. It's so cute. She's going to use the bathroom. No, Orlando, don't you dare use the... She's using her litter box, but don't, Orlando, do not use the bathroom on my floor. Hopefully somebody can take him out before he, he pees on the floor. Oh my gosh, look, she actually used it. Yes, okay, cool. So he's like, yeah, I gotta go potty. So cool, he's letting him go out. So nice, nice. And let's have him, can she not, trash can, oh, I don't have a trash can, really? <laughs> so I'm gonna let them into the little room, see if everything works in here. She does. Everybody's just gonna sit down and just enjoy themselves in the little pet room that we made. And um, have the animals actually come and lay in their little beds that we made. Have them sleep. Pet obsessions. Okay. So she's gonna hop in her little her little egg bed. Let me put my walls down. Oh. 
They're gonna lay down. I'm so happy to see them using their stuff. It's so funny because I'm like watching the hedgehog is just running in circles. Just running everywhere. He's really active in there. He's like, he's, he's okay with hunger. Like, he's not hungry or anything. But where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, he's such a speedy little thing. This must be where the food is. It looks like he's eating, yeah. So it does have like a little food tray in there. Which is good. So he doesn't have to like have any food given to him. Oh, so you do have the option too to like fill his food and to clean his habitat when it gets dirty, which is definitely something that does happen. You do have to clean those things out. So he's just kind of standing there. I wish he did more things than just stand right there, but okay. So Orlando's eating and then after he gets done eating, I want him to try out some of the other stuff that we have. Um, we'll have... See, everyone is kind of eating right now. Let's have them eat, though. Oh, this is a toy bin. Oh, okay, that's cute. I don't know why I didn't realize that that was a toy bin. Oh. So this is a, the... You get, get, get some balls out of there. <laughs> She's filling up the food for uh, Sagwa and Zeus now. And then maybe she can play a little bit with the... With Zeus. Zeus is like, I want to eat. Don't try to eat Sagwa's food too. Oh my gosh. Oh no, what's going on? What's going on? It says, Tiny wrote a big adventure. Thimble was thinking about you during his travels and brought you a postcard back to share. What does that even mean? So where do I get the postcard from? The mailbox? Or from him? Or does it go in my inventory? Let's see if we can find where this postcard is. If I can find the mailbox. I got this house off the gallery, so I'm not entirely sure where the... Okay, here it is. Nothing's in there. Okay. Well, I don't know where exactly the postcard is. Huh, okay. And Orlando, poor Orlando, he's like, he's bugged. <laughs> he got bugged. Alright, he got a little bugged there, but that's fine. So now that he's done eating, we're going to go ahead and take him upstairs to play with his new stuff in his room. So these are the kids' rooms that I did real quick. Uh, Felicity has the new stuff in here. She has the chair. This is stuff from build mode. Uh, he has the desk. But they also have the activity table, if I can find it. Uh, I want them to play with the activity table. Um, and I also want this to get turned on. In this room. Alright. I wanted to see what this little thing does. Right now I don't see it doing anything. Huh. Let's try the one over here. I don't know if it's on or not. All right, I put hers on the floor to try to see. Huh, I don't see it doing anything in particular. Maybe it's just a light. A light. So let's go back downstairs. I believe the activity desk is down here. Go into the pet room and have him play on it. Oh my goodness. So he can draw shapes. Let's see what he can do on this activity table. So he's got his little paper out. He's drawing a rainbow, which is so adorable. Oh. 
Oh, he looks so cute over here playing with his toy. Making that rainbow, putting that glitter down. Oh, hold on a second. What's this? Oh my god. Is he dead? Oh my god! Why does he look like that? Oh no, I hope he's just rolling around in his sand pile because that is not a good look. That is not a good way to start. Oh my god, I hope he's not dead. I hope he's not dead. Oh, that would be so terrible. Oh my gosh. We gotta check. We gotta check. Let's hit start. Okay, good. He's just rolling around in his sand pile. I'm like, oh my god, no. Not yet! Okay, so it looks like he put some glitter. It looked like some spaghetti noodles there, too. Oh, so that's what they do. They just sit. They can draw, draw shapes. And it that's about it for the activity table. My, looks like it puts their fun up or his creativity skill. Okay, so it says Orlando can now draw a new image at the activity table. So as their... As, as their creative skill goes up, they can draw more things. Oh, their hedgehog is thinking about food. That's probably, yeah, that's probably what Trace is doing. She's coming over here to feed it a treat. Because he's like, I'm hungry, human, help me. Oh, I think this is so adorable. I love how they look like when they're with their pets. Or when they're playing with it. Look. Look. Aww. That's so adorable. Teresa's like, I guess if we're going to have it, I must feed it. So she's giving him a treat. And he's like, okay, thanks. Thanks, human. She's going to run in circles. Thinking about his wheel. Probably going to go run on his wheel a million miles an hour now. So it's getting close to bedtime. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen when everybody goes to sleep. As far as what the hedgehog is going to do. Is he going to run on his wheel all night? Like they, I don't know if hedgehogs are nocturnal, but they probably are. I might be wrong. But I know like white hamsters, they sleep all day and then at night they run the wheel like all freaking night. Like the last hamster I had would run on that wheel so much. It'd be so loud. It'd be so loud. Oh, you could put, oh, I didn't know you could put them in your inventory and they stay there. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. So Orlando has started another drawing, but it is getting late. So we're going to let him go to bed and see what happens during the night. So he's off to bed. We'll cancel this drawing. You can always come back and do that later. And Sago is like, I'm on to you. I'm watching you. Oh my gosh, and the dogs are all barking. The dog is barking, and it's the middle of the night. But what is he barking at, I wonder? What is he barking at? He's barking because he wants to go in the room with them? Why? Get comfortable, Zeus. You should go to sleep, Zeus. They're not sleeping in the same bed <laughs> for some reason or another. It's all good. It looks like I have a little bit of... CC issue going on. Let's fix that real quick. We are in the process of putting everybody to bed, but I had to add a bed, a pet bed, in Felicity's room because Zeus just loves being in here. And I just, like I said, like Zeus will not leave her side. So I just wanted to do, get them a little bed so that way he can kind of chill and sleep in here with her. I don't know why the parents are both here kind of watching her sleep, but okay. And they're like excited because he's sleeping in his bed. <laughs> oh, they're just, it's just pure joy. It's just pure joy. All right, so let's put everyone to sleep and then see what's going on with the hedgehog downstairs. So let's watch. Let's watch. Where did he go? I don't even know where he is. I think we may have already missed him. I don't, oh, there he is. There he is. He's running around. He's running around. So I'm kind of curious to see like what kind of adventures that they can go on. Somebody's coming down to feed him and talk to him, keep him company. He's like, I'm just trying to roll around inside my dirt pile here. Sagwa is onto him. He, she is onto him. She's totally watching his every move constantly. How does it look like when they sleep though, I wonder? Because all I see him doing is rolling around and then he lays and he like lays inside of his 
sand pile for hours. What is he gonna do? All right, so I literally watched him all night and I didn't see anything in particular happen with him tonight. So maybe it'll happen another night, but that's about it. That's about it, guys. Um, You can play, you can feed your, your porcupine, you can play with it, feed a treat, clean its habitat when it gets dirty, which I'm sure it will soon. It's already got food. And then when you are, when your children are playing with the activity table, these are a few of the drawings that I can do. This is like at least up to level three. He did get up to level three creativity as we were playing with him. So you can see like how it changes. Like the more higher he gets, the better it is. Look, it's got macaroni on it. Oh, oh, I would have loved to see like glitter, but they have macaroni on it, which is like really cute. So that's about it, guys. That's about it with the game pack. Um, the little ham the little small animal you get you know it's it's pretty cute it's pretty cute it's not a lot of interaction you can do with it as far as like meh, like actually taking it out playing with it or anything like that you just can kind of watch it and uh, that's about it um i haven't seen him go on an adventure yet though it did say we did get that notification that he did um that he sent us a postcard which i was not able to find um, but you can observe it, and I think that does boost your Sims' um, creativity, I believe, which is really nice, especially for, like, the kids and stuff. They're, it looks like they're getting, let's see, she's got playful. So she, got, she gets the playful buff um, whenever she actually plays with it. So that's kind of cool to know. That's kind of cool to know for yourself. So she's observing now. And I don't see it boosting any skill for her, but it definitely did, I believe, for the child. And I might be wrong, but I think for sure that's what I saw. So that's about it, guys. That's about it with the game pack. You get all these little cool, little cute things to decorate with, and then you get a little stationary small pet for your kids to have as their very, very first pet. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to make a decision whether or not you do want to get this game packet. It is very cute. It just has some very cute pet clothes in it. And the porcupine, I mean, it is super cute. It is. It is. Even if you can't do anything with it, it, it is kind of a cute little aesthetic. Um, but yes, yes. And that's it. So that's the gameplay for The Sims for my first pet stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming by and watching till the end. I appreciate that, you guys, so much. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will definitely be seeing you next time in the next video. Oh, my goodness. And with that, we have Zeus making a small mess with, <laughs> with Felicity just there like, Oh, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how terrible. Um, anyway, my name is Sugary Cupcakes, and I will see you all next time. Take care now. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed a little gameplay from the My First Pet Stuff Pack um, and that you were able to make a decision as to whether or not you will be getting this game pack or not. Uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if, if you haven't already. I appreciate that so much, and I will see you all next time, guys. Bye.